Oroville Dam spillway damage causes massive evacuation. More than 180,000 residents of Oroville, California were ordered to evacuate on Sunday after a hole in the auxiliary spillway of a nearby dam threatened to flood the surrounding area. The Oroville Dam is the tallest dam in the U.S. at a height of 770 feet and can hold 3.5 million acre feet of water. Officials began releasing water down the dam's main concrete spillway, a 3,000-foot chute that channels flows into the Feather River. A huge gash was discovered on the bottom half of the chute on February 7th, so officials dialed back the outflows down the main spillway. Stormwater and runoff from the Sierra Mountains caused Lake Orville to rise to a point where water began flowing over an auxiliary spillway next to the damaged main concrete spillway. On February 12th, officials noticed a deep gash forming in the hillside below the auxiliary spillway and feared that it could collapse and flood nearby communities. On Sunday night, officials increased the outflows down the main concrete spillway to 100,000 cubic feet per second. Water is no longer pouring over the auxiliary spillway. Officials are now rushing to repair the damaged auxiliary spillway by dropping rocks into the hole created by the erosion. Weather forecasters predict storms will hit the area on Wednesday and possibly into Thursday. Officials will continue to discharge as much water as possible ahead of the storms without adding too much pressure to the damaged infrastructure. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Burst dams lead to floods. Keep watching for more. Texas homecoming queen drowns on her way home from prom. 18-year-old Alyssa Martinez never made it home from prom because she drowned when her car got caught in flood water and was swept off the road. The teen from Divine, Texas was at her prom just outside of San Antonio on Saturday night. She drove the nearly 35 miles home despite being well aware of the impending danger of heavy rains and flooding in that part of Texas. Her car reportedly stalled on a rural country road just miles from her house. She called her father and 911 for help, but it was too late. She was found dead not far from her car the next morning. Her fellow students grieved at a vigil held for Ramirez on Sunday at her high school. Zoo animals take over Tbilisi after severe flooding in Georgia. The heart of Georgia's capital looked like something out of a post-apocalyptic movie on Sunday after dozens of large zoo animals escaped their cages during a debilitating flood. While authorities worked to capture some of the carnivorous animals, the bodies of creatures killed in the flood littered the streets of Tbilisi. The zoo flooded with water from the river Vir, which runs through the middle of the city. The river is normally more like a creek, but on Saturday night, heavy rains caused it to overflow its banks. The waters loosened dozens of animal cages inside the zoo. Three zoo workers were confirmed dead in the flood, including a 25-year veteran who lost one of her arms after a tiger attacked her in May. The escaped animals included 20 wolves, eight lions, and at least six bears and six tigers, according to local reports. Rescue officials focused their efforts on tranquilizing the escaped animals, but they say some of the more dangerous animals had to be killed, including six wolves that were found roaming the grounds of a children's hospital. By Sunday evening, 12 people were confirmed dead in the flood, according to the BBC. There were no reports of deadly animal attacks, but authorities urged residents to stay inside until all of the animals were accounted for. Dam nearly collapses from flooded lake near Dallas. It was a close call Wednesday morning for residents surrounding this leaky dam in Midlothian, Texas. Officials initially warned the dam would break before noon, but managed to relieve the pressure enough to make it hold. Following days of flooding in Texas, a small lake near Dallas breached its dam early Wednesday morning. Authorities said the Padera Lake Dam was in danger of breaking and the result could be up to 15 feet of flooding. If that happened, a wave of water could take out parts of Highway 287. Authorities evacuated residents living downstream and warned them to move their livestock to higher ground. By mid-morning, pumps were redirecting the high pressure of the lake water to relieve the strain on the dam, and the volume of water had decreased. 
The builder of the dam reported it was secure and would hold. While search crews continue to dig through the flooding wreckage in other parts of Texas, the record rains are not expected to let up anytime soon. The National Weather Service is forecasting thunderstorms for Wednesday night. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Terrifying El Nino storms cause flooding chaos in Southern California. Three El Nino-fueled storms have slammed into Southern California this week, drowning the arid state in flood water and mud. And to make matters worse, one San Diego resident's beloved dog is the storm's first victim. The excess downpour has caused chaos on the roads, making them increasingly difficult to navigate, leaving some residents perhaps reconsidering their choice of vehicle. This dire scene in Ventura County has become all too familiar for many Southern California residents this past week, where flash flood warnings remain in effect. And if they leave their homes, it's scenes such as this that await them. The flooding is so bad in some parts that lifeguards were called in to rescue people from cars trapped in the mud and water. California is experiencing something this week that it hasn't experienced in a very, very long time. Rivers and drains overflowing with water. Scenes such as this may become commonplace with more downpours expected over the weekend and on Monday. And worse yet, between two and three and a half inches of rain are expected to fall over the next 16 days. Do you live in Southern Cali? How's the downpour affecting you? Tell us your El Nino story below.